Solve exponential equation. 2 to the power of 2x plus 1 minus 24 times 2 to the power of x plus 64 equals to 0. Now, to solve such equations, what we can do is we can rewrite the equation as 2 times 2 to the power of 2x, right? This is 2x plus 1, that means 2 times 2x minus, we have here 24, uh, 2 to the power of x plus 64 equals to 0. Now we can take 2 common, right? So if I take 2 common, I'm left with 2 to the power of 2x minus 12, 2 to the power of x plus 32 equals to 0. Now to solve such an equation, what we can do is, we can do a substitution. We can substitute 2 to the power of x as some number, right? So we'll substitute, we we'll say let 2 to the power of x equals to n. And remember, that n has to be greater than 0 since this is an exponential function, right? So we'll rewrite the equation with n instead of 2 to the power of 2x. So we get 2 times n square minus 12n plus 32 equals to 0. Now this equation can be factored. We are looking for two numbers whose product is 32 and whose sum is minus 12. So two numbers will be 4 and 8, right? And 8, the bigger number. So 4 and 8 are the two numbers and both will be negative because when you add them, you get minus 12 and when you multiply, you get 32. So we have n minus 8 times n minus 4 equals to 0. So we have two solutions here, right? So we can write down these solutions as n equals to 8 or n equals to 4. So these are the two solutions which we can work with. Now if n equals to 8, that means 2 to the power of x is 8, right? So we have 2 to the power of x equals to 8 and that means x is equals to 3, right? 2 cube is 8, so x equals to 3. Now if n equals to 4, that means 2 to the power of x equals to 4, that means x equals to 2. So these two are the possible solutions for us, right? And therefore, we get our answer, and the answer is x equals to 3 or x equals to 2. So these are the two possible answers for the given equation. I hope you understand the steps taken here and appreciate the method followed. The important thing here is that we should factor out 2 and see the equation as a quadratic equation. And to write it as a quadratic equation, we can do a substitution, replacing 2 to the power of x, the exponential function, with some other variable, and then solving for that variable. So this is the technique to be applied to solve such questions. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you.